guys, welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mirna Gabriela. I'm 22 years old. I'm from Puerto Rico and here in this channel, I want to share with you all my love for reading. For today's video, I got inspired by one of my favorite booktubers, Sarah Caroli, who read only romance books for a whole week. So that's what we're gonna do today. So the first book that I chose for this video is Ricochet, which is the second book in the Addicted to You series. This uh, series follows Lily and Lauren. Lily is a sex addict and Lauren is a alcoholic. They're childhood best friends. They've been fake dating to cover up their addictions and to not lose their trust fund. And in the first book, well, I'm not gonna spoil it, but we're gonna keep on with how they turned out after what happened in the first book. So I'm really excited to read this one. You're reading Archer's Voice. Uh, this book, it's about this girl who goes to this small town because she wanna forget her past. And she meets this really quiet guy who doesn't communicate with anybody. Uh, and they build up a friendship and I think it's a friends to lovers. I will be reading this one I know I'm gonna love it. So this is also in this videos TBR and lastly, it's a Book talk booktube bookstagram favorite. It's Love in other words by Christina Lauren Literally, this is the most hyped up book I've ever had on my TBR so I can't wait to read it again I think it's a friends to lovers I don't know if it's ch second chance this will be the three books that I will be reading this week uh, I'm starting tomorrow Monday because I still have 200 pages from my current read so yeah these will be the books we're reading in this vlog last night I started Love in other words, I don't remember which book I said I was gonna start first, but I just grabbed this. This book has been in my TBR, not for a long time, but it's been on my eye for such a long time. So far, I'm on page 17, and basically what had happened until now is that we got that, that background on her father, her mother, what happened between them. Uh, why they bought the house um, Elliot was mentioned then we get to the present and she's working at the hospital and she sees him so now I'm on the part where it travels back to 15 years ago so I'm just gonna keep uh, reading and let you guys know so far it's an easy read so there's that <laughs> Elliot I love him he reminds me a lot of my own boyfriend like when she was describing him at first pages it really reminded me of my own boyfriend and I already love him just by that I love how he's treating her how he talks to her um, their relationship since they were little it's so wholesome I might as well finish this today or tomorrow because it's really good by the way today is Tuesday. Yesterday I read like 78 pages or something. So yeah, I'm gonna keep reading and I'll update you guys as soon as something else happens. I'm obsessed. So that's my update. I'm really enjoying this book. I can see why this is a favorite. So yeah, so far loving it. So Today's Wednesday. Yesterday I didn't read much because I'm rewatching How to Get Away with Murder, so I'm hooked there. But so far I'm on page 154 and I love this book so much. I love the past um, timeline, it's so wholesome and I love it so much. So today I'm gonna keep reading. Hopefully, I can finish this one today and it's becoming. A new favorite. I have to admit that. Okay guys, so I'm currently on page 
page 197 and I love this book so much they just had their first kiss as teenagers and oh, that was so cute I don't know why the her getting jealous was so cute and how he responded I'm obsessed with them um, I'm tabbing it I decided to tab for love moments I love this for quotes I like for sad or heartbreaking moments and for character and plot uh, points that I think that are important and I'm mostly using the first tab of moments I love because I'm enjoying this book so much those are my updates for now I will probably finish this uh, later today because I'm eating this up it's a really fast-paced book the chapters are quite short and yeah okay I'm confused um, her fiance Sean does he love her or does he don't care hey guys I finished love in other words and oh my god this is a new favorite book I can't even express how much I love this book uh, I loved it since the beginning it was really entertaining and the characters were so lovable and Elliot oh my god I loved how confident he was how he treated her how he always like expressed how he felt his love for books I loved I loved how they met and I just love their love it was so genuine and pure and wholesome and it was so sad the reason why they didn't um, continue talking for 11 years and yeah I really enjoyed it I rated this a 5 star read uh, I, re I tabbed it 5 stars loved 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 this book I cannot believe it took me so long to start this so the next book I'm going to be reading for this week it's Ricochet the second book in the Addicted to You series this book is shorter so hopefully it will take me less time to read it um, I'm matching with it anyway um, I know this will be a continuation of what happened in the first book so I'm not gonna spoil it in case you did not read that one but yeah this is the second book I will be reading hey besties so as I said in the last clip, I started Ricochet. I'm currently on page 144 and I'm actually really enjoying it. The first book in the series, I kind of put it off a couple of times because I was not getting into the story. But now that I know the characters, I really liked it. Um, it's really sad, but I like how we are meeting more about Rose and how we're knowing more about Rike, we can see their personalities more in this book so I'm annotating this book okay you can see it but I'm annotating I can make a flip through but I'm really enjoying it I'm on February my month so I'm gonna keep reading and I think I'm gonna finish in between today or tomorrow because I don't have much left so yeah so far I'm really enjoying it I'm enjoying this more than the first book so you guys updated I finished Ricochet and I'm gonna rate this a 4.5 stars I fully annotated it and I really enjoyed, you cannot see my annotations, but whatever. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed this book more than the first book. The first book, I think I gave the same rating, but I liked this way more. I did not think it was a five star read 
sometimes I was kind of not bored but not so into the story but I really liked the characters more in this book I think that because I already knew them and I really liked how vulnerable we got to see Lily and how she actually was trying to get better and I loved how Rose and Wright cared about Lily and Lauren I loved how we got to see more about Daisy and Connor and I really enjoyed it I think it was a quick read and we got to know more about them I love Lauren Hill I love how he even though he was not as much in this book as the first one he when he was like talking to her he always said the right things and he has my heart i'm rooting for them they deserve the world and i can't wait for their happy ending at some point so yeah i'm reading this 4.5 stars liked it a lot what else i was gonna say oh i wanted to say that they already feel like friends or family and when a book feels like that I'm into it. I love the series. I'm rooting for every character. I can't wait to continue the series. I don't have the next book and I cannot get it until like March. I cannot wait to finish the series. I cannot wait to uh, read along with the Callaway sisters. I'm really interested. I saw a bit of Frike and Daisy. Since she's like 15 in this book, it was kind of uncomfy, but yeah i know that they were they are gonna be like uh together at some point so i cannot wait to read about that how that's gonna happen how they managed to fall in love with each other but yeah that's not the point i finished this i rated this at 4.5 stars so time to pick my next read so the next book we'll be choosing to read for this reading vlog is archer's voice i've only heard amazing things about this book so let's see probably this will take me a bit more time than ricochet but yeah i'll be reading this next i haven't been able to read all day because i've been studying but i'm on page five <laughs> and i will be going live on tiktok i'm doing this thing where i put my phone put the live on and start reading to not use my phone and not scroll on social media and actually concentrate and read so i'm gonna do that be a couple hours and i'll update you guys okay before going live i'm gonna choose the tabs that i'm gonna use for the book uh, i want to match the tabs with the book so i'm gonna probably use this one so let me do that update you guys that's my dog since i started this book and i'm currently on page 213 and i think this is gonna be my new favorite book just saying i i literally love everything about it i have nothing negative to say and i've tapped this book i've only read this and look how much tabs I have. I kid you not, I think this is the most tabbed book I have. And I'm obsessed with everything. Their love story is perfection. I wanted to say though that I have this much left from the book. And currently everything's perfect. You know what that means, right? I'm scared. I'm scared that something's gonna happen and it's gonna destroy my heart and i'm scared but i'm loving it so much i can already tell this is gonna be a five star read infinity stars my new favorite book <sighs> new favorite book boyfriend book girlfriend she's so sweet too they're like perfect for each other and i like i'm obsessed i love this book so much i wish i could read this the whole day but i have to study so i'll update you guys when I get more pages in.
Hey guys, so last night I finished Archer's Voice and I'm definitely gonna rate this a five stars. I loved this book so, so much. It was one of those books where you're always in a good mood and rooting for the characters and you feel every emotion the characters feel. I've never loved a female character as much as I loved Brie. She was so caring and such a pure soul and so lovable. And of course, I also loved Archer. He was the sweetest. I loved how his character development was uh, portrayed. And I, I have nothing negative to say about this book. Um, I loved the epilogue and the extended epilogue and the chapter 15 in Archer's POV. I loved everything about this book. So if you haven't picked this up and you need a cute small town friends to lovers uh, book, this is the book for you. I think at the beginning I said that he was shy, but I was mistaken. He was not shy. He couldn't speak. So yeah, in the book, you're gonna find out why. I tabbed so, so much. I love this book a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna give my last thoughts quickly about the three books I read for this video. So first, I started with Ricochet. Now thinking back, I think I'm gonna rate this a four stars, not a 4.5, because I did enjoy it, but I enjoyed this way more. So I'm giving him this a four stars. Nonetheless, I loved it. I loved the characters, I loved the plot even though it felt like kind of a filler, but you get to know some characters better and I appreciate that. Then I read Love in Other Words and I still gonna rate this a five stars. I really enjoyed it. It was so cute and I loved the storyline. I loved the happy parts, the sad parts, the characters. I loved everything about it. So still a five stars. And lastly, of course, the five stars, perfect book. I think these two are currently on my top five favorite books. So if you are thinking about reading one of these three books, choose this one, then this one. So yeah, so yeah that's what this video was about. I wanted to read romance for a week, but life got busy and I couldn't read in a week. It took more time, so I did want to finish the video. That's why I kept reading the books I told you at the beginning I was going to read. So, yeah. I hope you all liked my first YouTube video. If you've read this book, comment down below which one was your favorite. If you haven't, comment which one are you planning to read next. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you!